Ho ho! So we're here, we're back. We're in the UK, we're actually in my house now, and Alex is here. Alex, what's going on? I wish you'd told me you were about to press record. Sorry, but basically what we're doing, I was going to check my sunglasses in. So basically, I've got an event to do today, and Alex is, was going to come to the event with me, but he's actually travelling back to the Isle of Wight. What is this? Anyway, so basically, Alex is going home to the Isle of Wight. It's going to take him about six years to get there. And I'm going to go do an event. <laughs> oh. So we've got... Um, uh, it's called the ASD Info Wales event, I think that's what it's called. Um, but it's the first event after being back from VidCon, because I just got back from VidCon yesterday. Um, so yeah, let's go. Okay, so I just dropped Alex off uh, in the train station, because he's getting a train. Uh, and now I've got to drive to uh, the event, the convention that I'm actually doing an appearance at today. And I'm talking... Um, did I get the USB? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. So, off I go. Okay, so we just arrived at the event, but like there's no parking anywhere, um, and I've got to. Um, so I had to park my car like in the middle of like, a street, which is a bit weird. Anyway, so I'm going to try and cross the street now to get actually to the event. I'm talking at two, and I'm pretty sure all the delegates, because it's like a, a conference, I'm pretty sure they're all out for lunch at the moment. But I'm not entirely sure, so I've got to try and cross this excessively dangerous road just to get to the venue. I'm sure we can do it. But I just remember the highway code. Do you know what I mean? Look both ways. Uh, and cross when it's safe, but no running because you could trip over and die. Or something along those lines. Anyway, alright, let's do it. So the irony of this event is that like, last, uh, okay, so before I went to LA, on the Friday, I was doing an event in the exact same location. Then we went to VidCon, and then the first event back after VidCon is in this exactly same place, which is this huge theatre here behind me. Um, but I've got to, I've got to try and find. Uh, I don't know where, I don't know where it is, and also I have to, um, I have to go and pee. <laughs> so but anyway, um, it, it, it's good doing these kind of like talks because again, it gives people like an insight into that, like the stuff that we do online and the work that we do with the Aspie Worlds. But um, I don't, know, I just really enjoy it. Anyway, I've got to go and try and find where to get in because there's so many rooms in this place; it's ridiculous. I think this is the right way. I don't know. Oh, look. Footprints. They said this would this would happen. <laughs> Yay. Result. Okay. P time for literally the exact same room. So I just found my name on the thing and I put it down. So I've got to try and find out what the heck is going on. Oh, it's a different layout than I expected. It's a bit weird. Right, I'm going to try and find. Huh. Okay. Okay, this is a. Uh, it's a bit different to what I'm used to, so I'm going to have to try and find out where everybody is. Okay, so I'm in the event again, and it's, it's really weird. I'm in the exact same place, like literally the exact same place that I was um, a couple of weeks ago doing this exact same type of talk. So, anyway, um, I'm going to do my talk on the same subject I think and everyone really enjoyed it last time so what I'm gonna do is hopefully be able to do the same thing let's have a look here can I do it often oh, yeah so I got my talk topic on my phone anyway um it's really busy in there so I just can't get a breather for five minutes and they also gave me some free glasses which is cool so they've got the integrated autism service on these sunglasses and obviously I love using sunglasses so I might wear these on stage but I might wear these depending which one's best for the light probably the ones I'm wearing but these are really good so like another like a spare pair of sunglasses, you never have too many sunglasses. Anyway, um, I am going to just chill for a few minutes um, before everyone gets on to do the uh, next speaker and find out what time it is. Uh, okay, so I'm on at two o'clock and the time now is five past one, so I have an hour until my talk. 
which is gonna be super, super cool. So I'll try to take some cutaways of what the talk's like. Anyways, you can see what the auditorium's like. Okay, so I'm still waiting to go on. I've got another, what time is it now? We've got another half an hour. This backstage area though, this is so dope. But I feel like it's just me talking here on my own. It's like, there's nobody here. So my hay fever is crazy today. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with the rest of the day. So um, I will try and maybe film a bit on the, on the stage. I don't know, I'll see what happens. about the YouTube and stuff like that. I don't get teenage autistic kids calling me. I get their parents. Okay, so it's all done with now. I did some like Q&A then with, uh, with a panel of people who were also talking just so like, people could ask questions about, um, you know, autism services, what we do and stuff like that. And that was kind of cool. And I'm gonna go pee and then go home, get to the car and go home because there's gonna be crazy traffic now because of the time of day it is. The weird thing about this vlog is I feel like we've already done this. Like we did it like a week or so ago. <laughs> anyway. But um, it's nice to be back in the UK finally again, and uh, it just feels like I was away forever doing this whole VidCon thing. But it's nice to be back in the UK, and the weather is scorching hot. I think I need one of those bad boys. Anyway, I'm off home now. I'm gonna drive back. It's gonna take me forever to drive home. Uh, right. Let's do it.